Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel! Today we are going to do a Slimming World video. I thought this jumper was really apt today, it's full of uh, free foods and speed foods. <laughs> I've had quite a lot of requests on Instagram for this video, so today I thought I'd give you my top 10 tips for losing weight, things that helped me along the way. So a little bit on my backstory is that I've lost five and a half stone. I did that over a period of nine months. I was 17 and a half stone. I'll put pictures throughout the video so you can see what I look like, what my body style was like. I am five foot three. I currently weigh 12 stone one. I still have roughly two stone to go until my target. I'm not sure what size I want to be yet just because I've never been that small before or that light. The change in my size has been I started off as a size 24 which was when I was at my heaviest and now I'm a size 14. I've not moved, I've not gotten any lower than a size 14 yet because I hover around the same weight but hopefully I will keep cracking on and getting into those smaller sizes. Okay so let's get into my top tips. The first top tip is write everything down. If it goes in here it needs to go in here. Now this journal is from Fox and Moon. I found them on Instagram and I always buy her diaries. I have looked at other people's Slimming World friendly diaries but I always go back to Fox and Moon. I just really love them. So shout out to her. Now if you want a cheaper option there is some journal food books in Home Bargains which I think are about 2 99 So that's also a, go a good go-to if you want a cheaper alternative to a, um, you know. Now when I get one of these, uh, my consultant always laughs at me. I buy a journal and I always get fancy pens, stickers, <laughs> sticky notes, everything you can imagine to make this decorative. Uh, washi tape, things like that. So I'll give you a little, a little insider to, uh, this. Oh, so it comes with a, st uh, a sticker chart. So every pound you lose, you stick a heart in. So I think that's probably about 74 stickers? 74 pounds? That's math I can't do. Um, so then you've got, let's have a look. Right, this is the type of thing I do. I'll just open it up at the beginning. I put my washi tape everywhere. I put highlighters everywhere. I get fancy pens, we have colour coordinated weeks. I also use my journal as a diary, which means I've got to go in it every day to check if I've got anything on, that kind of thing. So like, I'll, I'll stick a little sticky note on it to say what I'm doing that day, all my meals go in, uh, how much I've drank and things like that and I colour coordinate them all so you can see, you know. So that is definitely a solid tip of mine everybody who I talk to about Slimming World, I say, write it down. So that's my first tip. <sighs> tip number two is, you've got sins there for a reason, use them. I have always, over that nine month period, and still to this day, I use nearly all my sins every day. Now, Back in the past, I would use my sins on things like chocolate, crisps, hot chocolates, things that would give me the fix that I needed to, you know, cure that craving for all the sweet stuff, the sugary stuff, the good stuff. Now, I love a treat. I love chocolate so much. But now I tend to use my sins on other things. I tend to use them now on oils, avocado, sauces, things that, you know, aren't chocolate or crisps, basically. However, I do tend to use my sins a lot on vodka. Cheers. Mm. Obviously measured, but still. Don't be afraid to use your sins. They are there to help you. They are there to get you through when you're craving something. Ooh, hair. I could never commit murder because my hair would be all over the crime scene. Okay, on to tip number three. The next tip is for eating out. Now I realise 
when you go out, sometimes you don't want to think about Slimming World, you just want a treat night, you don't want to bother about sins, you might just want that sticky toffee pudding and the carbonara, not in that order, a bit of cheesy garlic bread. Oh, garlic bread. <sighs> However, you know when those things crop up when you're really on plan and you think, oh, I kind of don't want to go for a meal out because I'm being that on plan and I don't want it to get in the way? Here's my top tip. What I like to do is I go online, see if they've got a menu. I, I tend to sift through the menu and then give them a ring and say, I don't want to make a fuss in front of everybody in the restaurant about swapping and changing things for baked potatoes or vegetables and things like that. I ring them first and say, look, if I order such and such a thing when I'm there, will you just write it down and you'll know it's me that wants the like slim and well friendly meal. You always get those friends who mean well, but they will say, oh, don't be on a diet tonight. We've ha we're having a night out. Eat what you want. It's just a one-off. I don't know about anyone else, but it's not just a one-off with me. If I have that night off, it, it will spiral out of control. Sometimes I can pull it back, but nine times out of 10, it messes with my head and I just think, oh, sack it off for the rest of the week. I find it better to not make a scene. If I've already planned with the restaurant beforehand, I just have to say to them, oh, I'm having the gammon. And then they know it's me who rang and they will know my order and it will come out slim and well friendly. And it's always a good way to stop the table from making a big deal out of it. Some, some people might not do that, but a lot of people do tend to go, oh, you're on a night out, why are you dieting? And it makes you feel bad for being on plan and you don't need to feel bad. Just ring the restaurant beforehand. It's a good top tip, that one. My top tip number Four, fakeaways. I know how beautiful takeaways are at times, but if you can get on the Slimming World website and get the recipes for great fakeaways or even on Instagram, honestly, you <laughs> they taste amazing, especially if you get like your partner or someone you live with to make it because it always tastes better when someone else makes it for some reason. I don't know why. But as well, when you have a fake away, so say I make um, salt and pepper chicken wings, I make them with a, uh, you can buy Watsits um, that are flaming hot and you mash them up and you coat, it, um, coat the chicken in egg and corn flour and then roll it around in the crushed up Watsits and it gives that, that kind of texture. Also, you don't have that, that feeling in your stomach. You know when you have, a, you have a takeaway and your body's not used to grease or fats and things like that because of you being on plan, and then all night you're like, Ooh, and your stomach's like, Ooh. yeah. You don't have that, and you feel better for it. Bulk cooking fake away so you can just shove it in your fridge so when you're absolute ravenous, you can just... Yeah. Top tip number five. This isn't spirit fingers. Name that film. Follow Slimming World accounts on Instagram. This is where I get all my inspiration. You get to see before and after photos that are so inspiring, they just light a little fire. <laughs> and it really spurs you on. You see people setting up their plates beautifully, like, you know, like sauce drizzled on the plate, all fancy and it, honestly, it spurs you on to do the same thing, like make amazing colourful meals. Follow people on Instagram, search them out, get on the hashtag Slimming World Meals or whatever, click on those and thousands and thousands of people's accounts will come up. You'll thank me. You'll thank me. Top tip number six. Exercise. Now. Don't click off, don't click off the video. I despise exercise. You can't make me run. You can't make me do boot camp. It ain't happening. If I ain't having fun, I ain't doing it. Try and get me up a hill. You gotta get an earful. Whinge, 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 whinge all the way up. I don't mind walking but you have to force me out of the house. Finding exercise, that is fun. So people ask me all the time, to lose five and a half stone in nine months, did I exercise? Now for the first few months I didn't, and then I started doing Zumba every Monday night. That was it. 
I loved it because it was like dance and the, the, the more weight I lost, the fitter I got and the more I could really like hit it hard. <laughs> and the more I could really like get into it and throw myself into it, because I love to dance anyway. So Zumba was like the perfect, perfect thing for me. And now I also do badminton twice a week. Well, not at the minute because you know, lockdown, COVID and all that. But I do badminton twice a week and that doesn't feel like exercise because I'm really competitive. So like if there was like a game of rounders or cricket, anything like that, I would be in on that. Just find something that's a bit more fun or whack a dance video on, anything. Even to get my steps up sometimes, I whack my Alexa on. I thought my Alexa wasn't here for a minute. I thought she was gonna start talking to me. I whack my Alexa on, turn the music up and I proud Mary the <laughs> out of that song in my kitchen. <laughs> exercise just dance around your kitchen <coughs> but find something that's fun for you that doesn't make you feel dread before you leave the house like when I, I'm on the way to badminton I'm excited to go to badminton I'm not thinking oh exercise I don't want to do it I love it so anything that will get you out the house that's like that winner buy a Fitbit I, I swear buy a Fitbit because it, it makes me more motivated less lazy winner. Top tip number seven. I've lost it. Treat yourself to something other than food. So if you've got a personal achievement that you want to celebrate, the automatic thing that we do, let's go for a meal. Now going for meals is wonderful. However, I tend to, instead of saying let's go for a meal, I'll go on ASOS and I'll treat myself to an outfit or I'll go on something else and treat myself to a bit of makeup or whatever you fancy treat yourself in different ways other than food because you don't need to treat yourself with food treat yourself with a nice negligee i don't know why negligee was the first thing that came to mind i don't think i even own a negligee my top tip number eight is try new foods now i know people are set in their ways because i was i was a fussy fussy eater. Try and get me to eat anything other than tuna butties and tuna pasta. <laughs> you wouldn't have succeeded. I didn't eat a scrap of veg. Not a scrap. I only ate bananas as fruit. I was a, I was a lost cause. Or so we thought. I started to get adventurous and try more veggies and more fruits and Trust me when I say it took a while, because it did. It's not something you can just, you don't just pop a Brussels sprout in your mouth and think, oh, what have I been missing all this time? I still don't like Brussels sprouts anyway, but what I did to wean myself into them is that I would have anything with sauce, so tomato ketchup with like broccoli, carrots, peas, things like that, or mayonnaise with things like that too and they eased me into them to then have it without sauces and then I, I just all of a sudden liked the taste of it. I, I mean I ate asparagus now. Anyone who knows me would be like wow wow and I'm like I know. Even if you just put a little little something on the side of your plate that's different to what you'd normally have and just think I'll eat that with a bit of sauce to of your choice and just try it and then keep weaning it into your diet because all of a sudden you will like the taste, I promise you. Some things you will never like the taste of, don't get me wrong. Cauliflower to me, the smell, the taste, the texture, how do people eat it? Cauliflower cheese, I even try and eat cauliflower cheese and the cauliflower still tastes rank. How can something coated in cheese taste gross? But yes, try new stuff, I can't wink. Top tip number nine. Maybe try and get on your social team in your group. I find that if I have to be on um, the weighing in or the payment taking side, you have to kind of turn up. Even if you think you've put on, you have to be there because you're on weighing in. And it kind of gives you an incentive to think, oh no, I can't just not turn up because I've got a job to do. So I like to go on the weighing in place mainly because quick maths is not for me so if someone's buying 12 hi-fi bars a magazine and 
paying their monthly fees, I'm like, <laughs> no. So I like to go in on the way in because I just have to put a card in, write it down, take it up. What is wrong with me? Guess I'll have to hoover after this video. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I'm moting. But basically stay to group because it helps so much. I know sometimes it's seven o'clock and you are sat there with your stomach rumbling because you've been at work all day. You've gone to Slim World and you just think I want to go home and I want to have a black hole Thursday or whatever day you get weighed on. Trust me, don't do it. Stay to group, you'll feel better for it. Even, especially when you've had a great weight loss and you go around and you talk about your weight loss. Pfft, I love a good clap and a certificate, me. And top tip number 10. If you get out of a clothes size, get rid of it. So I went from a size 24 and as soon as I went into a size 22, the 24s went in a charity bag and they were gone. I just thought I don't want to have the clothes there to give me that thing where I could possibly gain weight and wear them again. I thought if they're out, I can't gain weight because I don't have the size. I realise that's an expensive way of doing things when it comes to buying new clothes every time you drop a dress size. And some people say, oh, until I've lost all the weight, I'm not gonna buy new clothes, but it's, just buy yourself some pieces that you can, like, you know, like staples, vest tops, jeans. There's nothing better than the feeling of zipping up a pair of jeans that are a size smaller or putting a top on that's a size smaller because it will make you feel 10 times better. Trust me, I'm a vicar. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I hope you've enjoyed this Slimming World based video. If you would like some more, please put it in the comments what kind of thing you would like to see. Join me again next week for more content. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you'd be so kind. That would be great. And I will see you all soon. Bye.